Welcome to the Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. The podcast where we make five-minute decisions that can change your business, your relationships, and your life. Hey, this is Dean Soto, founder of ProSulem.com and FreedomIn5Minutes.com. And we're here again with another Freedom in five minutes podcast episode. Today's topic is this, why we all need a walk. That and more coming up. (coughs) Good morning, good morning, good morning. So the last two podcast episodes I did, did not go through. One, because of my dog accidentally turning off my phone. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and then the other was some other weird thing. I don't know, someone called or I'm not sure what it was. But either way, I learned my lesson. I got super frustrated. And we're here now. So we're all good. We're all good, baby. We're all good. We're all good, baby. Well, this morning, actually it was uh, last night all the way into this morning, There has been a pretty amazing learning lesson, and it has to do with my dog, but it will have to do with you and me as well. I promise you it's going to be a pretty cool lesson, right? So for those who, so for those who haven't listened to the last few podcasts, not few podcasts, but just podcasts in general, I have a Cane Corso. I have a Cane Corso, however you want to say it really cool dog. Her name is Luna and she is about seven months old now. I want to say, yeah, probably about six and a half, seven months. Well, over the last few months, she has been quite a handful, mainly because mm, I, I, the last time I ever had a dog was, gosh, when I was 10, maybe less, maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten, around there. Uh, oh no, it was, it might be a little bit later than that. But anyway, it's been a long time since I've had a, had a puppy and my wife has never had a puppy and (laughs) it definitely shows because, uh, she, she just, we, she did not take to Luna very well. Her family, not her family, I, I would say that some people in her family do not like dogs. They do not like pets. They are, they, uh, for whatever reason, they just, they just never really liked pets. And so, and so the, sorry, doggy, the, <coughs> The uh, it, there was just there was that t- turning point or not to uh, learning learning point turning point that learning point. Sorry, I'm getting back into the podcast, man. Leave me alone. Forgive me. Gosh, uh, there's that that learning point of where just just knowing how to man. I need to get a new tarp on this thing. How to. Uh, even re- uh, uh, interact with a dog because dog. I mean, obviously, the dog's not going to know English. Dog's not going to know what the heck you're saying when you when they want something uh, or when you want uh, when you want them to do something. They're not going to know what the heck you're saying, and so <coughs> it's very important to be able to uh, to uh, to let them understand what you're what 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 you want, right? Well, here's an important thing about dogs, if you don't have one, is that they need walks. A lot of the problems that happen with puppies or just dogs in general, the reason why they get aggressive, the reason why they, they aren't listening, the reason why they're acting up and causing such, can, can cause some pretty extensive damage is because they literally just need a walk. You can't just have them in your backyard, leave them there 
for a couple of days and then expect that they're going to be happy go lucky dogs the more energetic the dog the more energetic the dog the more that you need to spend time with them on a walk <coughs> because it's not just about the breed it's actually about the dog themselves and how much energy that particular dog has okay so going for a walk is very very important well this is something that (coughs) we already knew but we weren't doing with luna and in the morning she would just be so buzzy she would jump on the kids she would do she would just be a naughty little puppy right she was a naughty puppy and (coughs) <coughs> no matter what we were doing, no matter what we did, we were we were essentially just having to to put up with this dog that was really pissing us off, and and we, no, there was really no amount of training, no amount of me saying no, no amount of me you know disciplining her that was really working. Well, <sighs> come to find out that part of part of something that i needed was to part of so, uh, something that i needed was to basically have a morning routine have a morning exercise that's part of the core four that we do in the wake up warrior community <coughs> and i kind of wasn't doing it i would i would I'd make an excuse that, oh, I'm going to go to the gym later. Oh, I'm going to go do this later. And so I was falling out of bad habits. I was falling out, I was falling out of habits of, of waking up early and just kind of getting on the move and so on and so forth. Well, it struck me. It hit me that, hey, you know, if I just go in the morning, I wake up, and the first thing I do is go and walk my dog. Go out, go out in the morning, walk my dog on the land. There's tons of hills, tons of rocks. She would love it. And I think that would kill two birds with one stone. Because it is exercise for sure. Especially because we go down to the bottom of a ravine. And then all the way back to the top. You're literally climbing a hill. Huge hill all the way back to the top. And so, been doing that for the last two days. And my dog has been no- noticeably calmer with the kids, noticeably more obedient, noticeably more apt to listen to commands and to learn new things. Okay, pretty dang cool, right? Pretty dang cool. And this all is a result of taking her out for a walk, a long walk. Right, puppy? Right? Luna? Hi, baby? Huh? Taking her out for a long walk. This walk is what burns that energy that challenges her, especially when she's finding new places and sniffing under rocks and chasing after animals and birds and things like that. she's finding all of these different ways to stimulate and to burn that energy that's uh, inside her, right? Well, why is this important? It's important because guess what? Every time you wake up, every day, you have a certain potential energy that is waiting to be unleashed, You have a certain potential energy that is waiting to be unleashed. You have the physical energy, spiritual energy. You have the you have the creative energy, things like that. Okay. You have you you every day. You know deep down that that energy needs to be used for something, right? (coughs) Starting off your day with a walk or a run or exercise, something that's getting you moving challenges your, challenges your body and gets your body basically into submission, right? Getting your body into submission, which then prepares you to get your spiritual side into submission, whether through prayer or meditation or anything, uh, anything like that. 
which I'm going to be doing some prayer and meditation in right after I get off this podcast. And then from there, it gives you the space for creative energy. The problem is that a lot of the times we put this stuff off. A lot of the times we put this stuff off. Out of a false sense of, oh, well, this other person needs me, or my business needs me, or this needs me, or that needs me. Guess what? You need to give yourself that outlet in the morning. I already knew this. I knew this, I, I knew this deep down, and I had been practicing it for months, and all of a sudden, I stopped because I got sick, and I had made some stupid excuse, and I stopped. So, you need to take care of yourself first. For me, it's waking up between 5 and 6. Woke up a little later today, 6.30. I didn't have my phone with me. Waking up between 5 and 6 or earlier. Getting out, doing some exercise, doing, doing, some, uh, doing some meditation and prayer. And then getting ready for some creative stuff. The king eats first. This is a concept in Wake Up Warrior that is absolutely amazing. I felt so guilty about it. The king eats first or the queen eats first. Whether you're male or you're female listening to this. You need to take care of yourself first. Because then you cannot take care of others. You need to take your walk in the morning. You have to, figuratively, your walk, the things that get you going for the day. You have to. It's going to give you the space. It's going to give you the (coughs) energy. It's going to give you the, the... potentiality to do much bigger things than just going in, punching the clock, and you're done. It might look different for you than it does for me. For me, it is waking up, like I said, between five and six, sometimes earlier, and then from there, and then from there, doing, doing my walk with my dog, Then doing some prayer. I have time set aside until 10 o'clock. Nobody talks to me, or my family can, obviously, but nobody takes my time business-wise until 10 o'clock. There's an 8 o'clock meeting that's going to go on right now, and that's being done by my staff, not by me. And is it because I don't care about my staff? Is it because my staff is... Is it because my staff is is not uh, uh, is because I'm their slave I'm a slave driver and I and I and I'm choosing to to not uh, to be a good boss? No, because one, I'm empowering them; they they enjoy that, and two, it's because they know that the more that I have time to myself in the morning, the more more things get done by everybody. So take your morning walk in the morning. What are you doing right now in the morning? What are you doing right now in the morning that is a routine that brings power? That is a powerful routine. If you don't have a routine, you got to figure out a routine. And I know I keep on harping on Warrior Book or on Wake Up Warrior, go to warriorbook.com. I have no affiliation with, with, with them whatsoever. I, it's just been super life-changing for me. And, and I, I know that it, 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 it'd be life-changing for you. So definitely check that out. If you have no routine whatsoever, that's something that, you'll, that will benefit you tremendously, tremendously. If you do have a routine, is it powerful? If not, you might need a new routine. Okay. All right. So all that being said, what's, what is your routine right now? The big choice, the five minute choice, the five minute decision 
is if you don't have a routine, get a routine. Go to warriorbrick.com, check that out. It gives you a routine very quickly, very powerful one. If you do have a routine, is it powerful enough? If not, make the decision now to search for a more powerful routine. All right, I will see you. This is Dean Soto, Freedom in Five Minutes, and I will see you in the next episode. Go check out prosulum.com, P R O S U L U M.com, and go, ch- <laughs> and go check out Freedom in Five Minutes.com, and we'll see you in the next Freedom in Five Minutes episode.